And hi guys! <laughs> I have a friend. Hello! <laughs> so we're gonna play some of four. Or I'm gonna play. She wants to watch. <laughs> so uh, this will be fun. <laughs> I apologize in advance for all the screaming. <laughs> I'm gonna scream at everything. It's like <laughs> it's a different experience when you watch somebody else playing and you see them scream. But now I'm seeing it for the first time, <laughs> so there may be lots of screaming. Okay, the most I know about this is as soon as you hear the song, bad stuff starts happening. Stop. That's all I know. Stop doing that. <laughs> Stop doing this. Stop making the bad sound. It looks like we're in somebody's office. Weird tentacle thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't stop it in time. <laughs> Maybe. Am I that dude? Who am I? <laughs> oh, I'm that dude. Hello. Much younger dude. It's Daniel. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Home sweet home. Did he move his head? Wow. Oh. Like, hey, oh, look crikey. Seriously. Don't answer it, then. Just ignore it. Don't answer it. Friday. Is he Australian? Are we Australian? Hello. Daniel, it's me, Etienne. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Don't do it. Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hadn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin oh, air. What's the dude with the box? Oh, don't screw with oh. me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer <laughs> to your place you. than it is to mine. Come on, so man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe go me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. For Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along house. Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. Of course it is. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find it. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. Oh, I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. And You're Dan saving never my never gets back. <laughs> As Kay kills him. He's gonna die. Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Why Shit. Even I should be too important for that. Why not just get a new job? I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company, or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Oh, rip. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. I would have divorced myself. Daniel Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. Shin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. <laughs> Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed over lackey by <laughs> evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husher, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. He's dead. He's dead, and then you're probably gonna do the stupid thing. We're all just gonna die together. That's how you advance the plot. <laughs> stupid, stupid people and... advance the plot. They said that in high school, and it's still true mm -hmm. to this day. Stupid people move plot. Okay. He has a nice hair. It's out of the sticks. That's out of the sticks. How you get a nice house? <laughs> no one else wants to live there. Look at that yard. Let's move into his house. Listen to 
is where all the bad stuff happens. That's a good sign with the door open. He's fine. His door's just open a little. He's Nothing good. suspicious. I wish I was like, look at this bike. You know, look at the bike. <laughs> Tricycle. I didn't know he had kids. I hope he has kids. Maybe he has grandkids. I was gonna say, he looks a bit old. He's old. <laughs> Shouldn't be making fun of people walking. Hello. Hello. Your door was open. I'm just gonna waltz on. Is it. that music? Oh, Rip, you heard the music box. I'd better take a look. No, walk away. Walk away. Why do you have a? <laughs> this is how you die in like horror movies and games. What's that sound? I'm gonna go check it out. Hi. Can I just trudge on into rooms? I sure can. <laughs> Tray. There's something on that doorknob. No, no. Dale Sebastian! How are you? <laughs> to be completely honest, I must admit that there that we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. Dear friend, I must ask a favor of you. No. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we've purchased from the store, an ornate music box with a fascinating oh. and great- Your friend gave it to you! Your friend killed you! He's <laughs> some death! It's so fascinating! <laughs> craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps just the ear, the melody, Sebastian. It's peculiar. You have to listen for yourself. Also, like, it's like, you know the ring? Hey, did you see this video? <laughs> <laughs> have I never heard a song like this before? And my attempt at all finding the score or the name of the composers have failed, I cannot for the life of me get the melody out of my head. <laughs> Probably should have. Divers. What the? That's a fun. How can there be a door there? That looks like a scary door. Yeah. Covered. Thank there's you. Like, there's like lots of black goo around it. It can only be good. <laughs> Only mean great. Oh, look at this door. It doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> it's got like. I will go into it. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I immediately regret my decision. No, so the music box is down in the suspicious door that's gonna slam. Isn't it? It's gonna shut. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. stuck in there. <laughs> Goodbye, Daniel. <laughs> you're gonna die. <laughs> Do I get to see what happens to Daniel? I'd hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. Yep. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. Oh, great. <laughs> and all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. Hmm. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days, and I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries. Howling in horror, and sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations, nightmares, black nothingness. And the song from that music He's box, the same song over and over again. trapped in this impossible place. I wondered if I was going to die there. Most likely, especially if I'm the one controlling. <laughs> we're all gonna die. Three days later. So we're still Daniel. I guess we're still Daniel. A crazy Daniel. Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave. Just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? They're all gonna die. Yeah, 
I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house in the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay, I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course, same to you. None of them are questioning that two people have just mysteriously just, disappeared. Oh, okay. and his wife. And their children. Just, oh. The whole family disappeared. Don't make hasty decisions. This is probably what I'm gonna do. I think I would just all get said all these characters scared. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, it's even worse. It's all like not dark. Great. That's your light source? Did you bring a literal candle? No flashlight, just a candle. She likes candles, okay? Just have to see. Yep, yep. Just gonna. All right. Awesome. The better question is, how do I run? How do I crouch? How do I do anything? This is how they die because I don't know how to do anything. <laughs> oh gosh. The door was open. Is there anybody home? Why does nobody think that's the most suspicious thing? The door's open. I you don't want to look over there. Uh -huh. Of course it was in there. We've got to lubricate it somehow. Uh right. Um it's gonna sound weird. Why with the loop? <laughs> in the bathroom. Take it. <sighs> oh, sweet guy. Saul. Saul, honey. What the? I have concerns. <laughs> Saul, what did- what happened? Oh, hey, look! Motor oil, are we <laughs> Lube. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, right. Great. Glad we came in here. I don't like the camera angle in here. Yeah. A feeling that's gonna kill me. Oh gosh, oh gosh. A new door? Or was that already there? No, it just slammed. Listening at doors. There you go. Press your ear against the door. <laughs> Liz and I. <laughs> She's gonna die. What was that? She's going to die. Oh, well, listen. Listen. Uh, you're probably gonna die now. And then we move on to the next character. God. <laughs> Found the lube and then suddenly stuck closer to death. <laughs> that much closer to death. You're going to a creepy mansion where two people have disappeared. <laughs> oh god. There's no electricity that's on such a She's not questioning it. Should I answer? Ma'am, you should be questioning why it's working. You're darn straight, I'm gonna answer. <laughs> Hello? Sorry, who is this? I can't understand you. She's crying. We can't leave my room. What the? We can't leave my room. Oh, it's the child. It sounded like a child. Is he in the house? Oh, like a girl. Okay, so it must be a young boy. Yeah. Oh, it's the kid's drawing of, like, the... Creepy arms. Oh god. I look forward to this. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I agreed to come over here. <laughs> why did I agree to this? <laughs> like how it says, like, I can't see anything. You can see the reflection of this. You see her face? She knows this is bad. You hear the music? I have concerns. Oh, yes. She didn't question why a phone could ring and why somebody was crying. It's like, well, I can't She's understand like, you. There's no power. Look, the door's gone. There's a There's no. Something. Oh, God. It's gross. There's still, like, creepy stuff on the wall, though. I saw another door yesterday as I was walking by the dining room. Dang it, room. I suddenly heard music from Daddy's music box. Run, child! When I went in, I saw the door. 
I went running to tell mommy, but when we came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair. I was telling the truth. There was an old door here, different from the rest. I even had a key in the keyhole. If I see it again, I'll go inside and leave the door open. That way, mommy will be me to solve. I saw the weird door, Julia said. The other one wasn't there, but they were gone. What the devil? <laughs> that is correct, ma'am. What the devil? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! Uh, are you supposed to go listen? Daniel. Is that you? Ma'am, you're- Girl, you dumb! Ma'am, you wanna turn out your candle? Ah, uh, girl, you wanna just run? Or hide under the table? Oh. 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 Something is trying to get in! Yeah, they should really hit this. Alright. Ah, uh, this is why you need to be strong. And push the door. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I don't think we're strong enough. I'm gonna die. 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 I'm gonna die.
You gotta have weird skulls on the wall. Creepy masks on the wall. You gotta have some dolls. I, creepy aesthetic. I, uh, all the hallmarks of horror. We can't live in a modern house. That's no. not scary. No, no. If the power goes out, we want to make sure the kids are terrified. <laughs> <laughs> terrified of their own home. That's right. They won't mess it up that way. Because a word of advice. Do not buy a house with a long, creepy hallway. Ready. Especially if you like to watch horror, you're just gonna scare yourself. Because <laughs> you'll be like, oh gosh, I have to go back to my room. There's this long, creepy hallway. Uh-uh. Okay. Oh, God. We're the one on the other side. Are they laughing or crying? <laughs> they are crying. That sounds like laughing. That's not laughing. I have to get in there. No, I don't. I really, really don't. We're gonna get in there, <laughs> and we're gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna die. <laughs> and then we'll get to play as another character. I go through all of this hell again. <laughs> Aren't you excited? <laughs> She's just like, I need to get in there. Holy walks away. <laughs> yeah, how do I run? That is a question. That's the real question. How do I run? You know the, the monster demon thing or whatever is gonna come out. You're gonna be like, I'm just gonna slowly <laughs> walk away. <laughs> so walk on down here. Why are we? Oh, great. The door is now open. I'm glad the door is open. <laughs> Said no one ever. Here we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No. Stop it. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> that room looks really dark. <laughs> you don't say! Oh my gosh, these people just have like animal heads in every single room. <laughs> I assume that means dead. 